All right, so welcome to my review of Sound of Freedom. To be honest with you, I wasn't actually going to go watch this movie. The reason being is that I thought that this movie was going to piss me off, to be honest with you. Let me explain. Actually, let me just say this first. If you guys don't know what this movie is, basically it focuses on... Well, I don't want to say this out loud, but because you obviously YouTube, you know, will might take down the video. Basically... It, it focuses on crimes against the young ones, if you guys know what I'm talking about, right? A serious crime. Now, let me tell you why I thought that this movie was going to piss me off, was because when I was a security guard, I spoke to some police officers that investigate this kind of crime, right? And when I hear these kind of things, you know, it pisses me off, you know, it, it pisses me off that even these things are even happening, you know what I mean? It's sickening to even hear, you know? Because they even told me, like, you know, pretty much an overview of how that, you know, the syndicates work and stuff like that, how they operate and shit like that. But I don't want to go into too many details because otherwise this will end up being a very dark video. Now, another thing is, is that I don't know why I thought this, but um, when Netflix made that um, movie on, uh, when the, the movie on Netflix called Cuties, I, for some reason, I thought that this movie was going to be very graphical. And I, and it, in my mind, I, I, I wanted to... I didn't want to go into a movie and be disturbed, if that makes sense. I don't know why I thought that. But obviously, you know, it is illegal to film these kind of scenes or to even make these kind of scenes. Thank God for that. But yeah, I didn't want to... I want, didn't want that shit blasted in my face and then be disturbed and angry because, you know... Of what's of what they're showing even you know what I mean but thank God it wasn't the movie was not like that now the reason why I did go watch this movie because this movie was very recommended to me by you know association and stuff like that I so said go watch this movie you know it's because the thing is also I am kind of familiar with the Tim Ballard story you know uh, when you used to catch these kind of people so yeah I thought you know what now I'll give this a chance so I did actually end up watching it Okay, so this movie is basically, as I said, it's based on Tim Ballard, you know, his, the way he, um, the story, you know, how he used to catch um, these type of people, right? And basically what this movie focuses on, well, it, it's not a documentary in the sense, it is a, like, there is fiction involved in it, but it is based on his, um, things that he used to do, right, when he was investigating these kind of things, right? So basically this, the main focus, he focuses on a brother and sister, and basically he has to rescue them, right? Now, if you've seen this movie and you feel nothing, something's got to be wrong with you. Especially, you know, because you know what's happening to these kids. That ain't, obviously, like I said, they don't show you anything, but you know heavily what's happening with, with the movie. That's one thing also they did very well in this movie, is they did capture the dread and the real danger behind these type of syndicates, let's say. So if you like, I say if you went, if you went to watch, if you if you've seen this movie and you feel nothing, not even sad, because this is a very sad story. That this is even happening. That these kind of things even happen in real life, right? If you've seen this movie and haven't seen and don't feel anything, go get some therapy, because something's gotta be wrong with you, because this movie, it's a very sad story. You know, it's also very sad that this shit is even happening in real life. You know, it's a bit. I would say it's actually a bit confronting as well because it does um, you know, reveal that this shit is even happening. You know what I mean? Because here's the thing, right? In, in, in there was uh, here's the thing, right? I am not the crying type, right? When I watch it, even a sad movie, right? But there were a couple of scenes in this movie where it got me pretty damn close to crying. Okay, so I know I rambled a little bit, but. Let me give you an overview of what this movie is about. So like I said, this movie is basically based on Tim Ballard's like investigations, how he used to catch this type of people, right? So basically what it, what happens is, is that these two brother and sisters, kids by mind you, so the brother and sister are basically tricked into, into let's call it slavery. They're tricked into, you guys know what I mean, right? So they're tricked into so they become slaves in a sense, right? To these sickos, right? So basically what happens is is that through Tim Ballard's investigations, he catches one of these predators, let's say, right? 
and he and he tricks him into trusting him right and he eventually ends up finding through that he, end, he ends up finding the brother right and the brother ba basically um you know basically asks him to um find his sister right and basically he starts a full investigation to try to find his sister right so what ends up happening is he goes undercover in Colombia and he tries to find obviously the boy star and through what you know he rescues other kids and stuff like that now i won't go into spoilers of exactly what happens when, like when he's undercover but um like i like i kind of mentioned before like this movie it's a very sad storyline right but also it does bring awareness of what this is happening because this sick like crime has to stop you know because he has grown over the years like it's it's grown to a massive billion dollar industry and i mentioned that in the movie too it is a, literally a billion dollar industry now this type of thing as they also even mentioned that you know there are powerful people now that are actually involved in this kind of crime you know because like they mentioned like government people uh you know they, they give hints to that as well actually let me explain that a little bit better right so when he was rescuing these kids, the moments he rescued them is that the movie tried to focus on hope where, um, you know, no matter, like, it's almost like, it's almost like they were giving a message where no matter how dark things get, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Hopefully, you, you, know, you know what I mean? You guys know what I mean? So they did focus on hope as well. Like when, it, when you know, when he was rescuing them, they focused a lot on hope. Because actually, there is a line I love in this movie, is that, um, I can't remember the line, ex like, or exactly like what the lines were, but it was like, the guy asked him, like Tim Ballard, right, he asked him, why are you doing this kind of thing, like, why are you, why, why are you putting your, your life on the line, or something like that, right, and he responds, and he, literally, his answer is, because, um, what is it? Because the children of God are not for sale. I love that. I, that's my favorite line in the movie. Also, there is another scene that I actually do like. It's the one where they rescued all those kids on the island. I can't remember how many. I think they said there was like 60 or 70 or something like that. But um, after they rescued them, you know, they start playing like kids, you know. They start being, you know, you know kids again. But they're, they're basically being loud, right? And one of the guys over there says, do you hear that? Point, when he, point, he points to the kids, you hear that? That is the sound of freedom. I love that scene. That is actually what I meant by when when he was wrestling the kids, he, they they um, focused on hope. That's what I meant. If you guys seen if you've guys seen the movie, you'll know what I mean. Actually, at the end of the movie, they did surprise me, right? Because literally, the, just before the credits roll, right? They they showed you know the actor. Like he walks into, he like walks to a mirror, and then he changes to the, you know, the actual Tim Ballard, like the real life Tim Ballard, and then they actually showed the raid on that island when they were rescuing, you know, the police footage or something like that. They showed, not something like that. They get, yeah, they actually showed that, like when they were actually rescuing the actual real footage. So yeah, that was interesting because I do remember seeing um, vaguely of that video on the news. I do remember seeing that somewhere. So yeah, that was interesting. So, you know, do I recommend this? Well, here's the thing, right? W with a recommendation. Yeah, I think you do need to go watch this movie just to bring awareness to or to this type of crime, you know? People need to become aware of this crime. Because if people become aware and they protect their kids, this crime, I, don't, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say, well, stop it completely because, you know, it is a, f you know, it, it's... It's a very complicated, it's a very complex issue, but it does need to stop, you know. But the more people become aware of this thing, um, the less of this crime will be committed. You know what I mean? Like I mentioned before, like even it says in, even in the movie, you know, if this is a global crime now. It's gone, literally gone global and it's like a billion dollar industry now. And this shit needs to stop, you know what I mean? So yeah, go watch. If you haven't seen this movie, go watch it just to bring awareness to this movie. Now, if you have a friend even that has like is in denial or something uh, that doesn't believe that this crime happens, just take him to watch this movie. You know, take him to watch this movie.
actually with that being said also there is a lot of bad parenting as well because even like when i was a security guard i've seen it's like literally they let the kids wander off like i'm talking about little little kids right but they let them wander off in the street by themselves for no reason like you know just to go get them something you know one th one thing like go actually if you know anybody like this that does like literally bad parenting like that lets let the kids go wherever the hell they want or whatever take them to go watch this movie just to bring awareness to 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 how do i say to drill into them that the, the, you know there is you know sick people out there you know what i mean they do this kind of crap and we you know with bringing awareness that this crime exists you know people will protect the kids a lot more you know what i mean because like i said there are dangerous people out there like here's the thing right if you're a parent you know you need to protect your kids you know that's my message anyway that's all for my review thank you for watching